My humans call me their pet. But really, they work for me. I'm the boss, and I know what's best. This guy thinks he knows the perfect coconut. But I can already sniff it's nasty. Yep, my nose doesn't lie. Yeah. When will people listen to me? Just cut me another one, dude. I'm not eating that. You know, it's not just coconuts that I know best. I only accept premium. That's more like it. I like my VPN service to be as premium as my coconut choice. That's why I love Surfshark. They look after my internet security just as well as my humans look after me. But let's talk about the meaty stuff. The fun stuff. I love streaming movies and shows from around the world. But sometimes you can't watch stuff in different countries. Surfshark fixes that by masking your device's address. It's really my internet hero. Even blocked social media sites can be unlocked for me. And Netflix gets an upgrade too, with tons more videos to see from different countries. And that's not where the good stuff ends. Surfshark also works across unlimited devices. So I can share my internet security powers with my friends too. So, just like this coconut, let's share this tasty gift with the world. I've already told my buddy about it. He checked out the links below and got a great deal. Anyway, the moral of the story is, if a dog tells you to download Surfshark VPN, then you must do it. Now leave me and Shalako alone to enjoy our premium coconuts and thank us later when you're enjoying your premium VPN. Bye! simple day here in the Philippines. We are riding our bicycles down to the next nearest town. The story's riding confidence has increased massively recently and she's out on her new bike and we are going quite a far distance. It's going to be at least nine kilometers. We're going to go get some lemonade at the lemonade shop and we're going to go get some groceries and do some exploring on our bikes today. The ride took about 46 minutes because we stopped a few times to have some water and just give story a break. And the town name we have come to is called San Isidro. It's cool because they've got a little coffee shop and lemonade stand here, which is quite recently made. And they serve simple food and very basic drinks, but it's really nice ending point for the ride. We're gonna get a couple of lemonades from here to refresh before we carry on. The lady's just making them for us now. If you're looking for this place, you'll see these fresh lemonade stand signs. And then the place is called Copy Shooty. Look out for the dog logo when you're way in. And here we are, a couple of seats. Fresh lemonade, freshly squeezed. As she saw, she got the lemons from the lady straight over there, locally sourced. <laughs> now, you can't locally source lemons, but good drinks. The maths right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got it right. Story was practicing her sums, wasn't she? Trying yeah. to see if she could figure out how much the lemonade would be. I told her the answer. Did you? Um, yeah. You figured it out beforehand, didn't you? <laughs> so this is the menu. The kind of things you can get from here. Like I said, just simple drinks, simple snacks. But it's right next to one of the local schools, so you see a lot of students come in here. We're just going to whiz across to the Sari Sari store to get some ingredients for Story's recipe later. You're cooking for us later, aren't you? Yeah, I found a new um, app um, that my friend has taught me. Yeah. And it's really good. Yeah. And then we're As part of story schooling, we ask her to deal with money, to go shopping, to work out menu prices so she can figure out her mathematics in a like real life setting. I think it helps with memorizing stuff. And it's perfect because we can just like get our lemonade from there, get our veg from here. <laughs> All right, we managed to find some peanuts as well. Did you get the right change? Yes. So you got everything? Yes. Just missing a bag of rice, aren't we? Yes. We'll get that from the other shop later. The rice is in the shop up the hill. Oh, 
like afternoons like this and we can just sit around and take our time to see what's going on watching life around us like this guy hanging in the back of the vegetable truck it is a very unusual sight to see you'd never see this where we're from in the uk so to see it here is always funny even though we've been here for almost five years stuff like that's very interesting we're just about to leave the coffee shop and sasha's getting some takeaway coffee to go they've got this little bakery here with some basic breads and we've done our vegetable shopping already as you saw we need to get rice from the lady up here and then we're going to do some exploring aren't we story yeah we're going to Casal way instead of that way yeah. Well, we always go that way. yeah, we're going to go to the back roads of Tikisau, aren't we? Yeah. See what we can find. Yeah. Sasha's got the coffee. Do you think it will hold in the basket? Yeah, I think so. Let's hope so, otherwise it will ruin your lovely basket. <laughs> <laughs> Remember where the rice shop is, Story? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right up the hill. Stop at the rice shop, okay? It's not a long ride, it's just there by that tricycle. Uh, you wait here, I'm going to cross. Hey, all. Can I get uh, one kilo rice? Uh, not today. Can I buy one? Yeah. Okay. cost was 60 pesos per kilo oh a bit wobbly on the hill start there and i had to pay five pesos for the eco bag because i forgot mine today is there yeah. oh man just wasted five pesos <laughs> sometimes you have to embrace like the small shopping lifestyle here like buying a kilo of rice and you don't buy everything in one go if we're driving around in the car we'll get everything but on the bicycles we're embracing that sorry sorry lifestyle. Alright, it's a bit windy, but following this sign here, it says this way to Bouncy Tikasau Lagoon. What happened? Crash. Salam. We came up this way in the car once, but we hit a dead end and turned back. So it's nice to come down here at a slower pace and actually look around, see what's down here. Is that a sea breeze I'm feeling? We might be getting close to the coast. Yes, little puppy. We can hear you. So much around here we didn't even know was here. Yeah, I thought there was gonna I can hear water but I can't see anything. Parking area over here, but I don't know what for. I can't see anything here. <laughs> Is this it? The lagoon. Yeah, we're just doing their laundry in there. <laughs> Let's have a closer look. So we just parked up here at the Tigasau Lagoon and look. People just pushing their clothes down there, chilling, local life. <laughs> it's a bit odd to mix a tourist attraction with a laundry station though, isn't it? Well, that's how it's done. Looks like they've got some kind of zip line thing, isn't it? So almost five years living in this country and very very close to this location and we've never ever seen this beach before. What do you think Story? Very nice. Look at, I mean, look at it. Beautiful look at isn't it? it. I mean, look, it's amazing. Let's take a closer look. Very cool. Look to the left. This is Tikasau Beach. It's very clean actually. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Can't believe we've never been here before. I don't know. We didn't know it existed, did we? It's just like that. Remember that place just outside our house? The swimming location. Yeah. 
Like, we've never been there before, but it's just outside our house. I know. And we never knew about it. I know. You've got to explore, haven't you? Have to explore. I just noticed there's actually a staircase leading to the top of this Kubo. I'm just going to check it to see if it looks safe to climb. I don't know who built this or why. Let's have a look. It's pretty solid. Wow. Cool. Yeah, it's rock solid. Just be careful of the edge. <laughs> Look at this! Look at Amazing, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. What a view! Feels a bit unbalanced when you actually look down my flat. That's called vertigo. What's that? That feeling that you just described. What, like? Yeah, like when you look over an edge and you know that it's a drop there, and you like, your body goes like, danger, danger. And you get that feeling of like, that warping feeling of vertigo. And you, and you feel like, like your back is pushing you onto the drop. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Yeah. Look where we are, people. Stunning. We're just watching the current. You can see those big big heavy waves going left they're not big waves but you can see like the current never stops just keeps going also look at that rock over there it's like perfectly flat rock like, yeah safe don't worry you can come up on me yeah it's safe yeah it's safe looks like lots of people come up here and have a drink yeah. you see a little bit of trash <laughs> down there people have been throwing their rubbish off the edge which is a bit sad but thank you Nice, isn't it? What a discovery! This is amazing. Cool, isn't it? That's very cool. We can't see that from down low. No. So, do you know how many kilometres we've ridden so far today? 11.1. 11.1, yeah. That's a lot of kilometres. Well done, Story. <laughs> it's not an easy thing to do, even for an adult. Yeah. I was like, I was like crying when I was going up that, sh um, what do you call it, San Isidro Hill. Yeah. Yeah. You made it, didn't you? But I made it, yeah. Windy, isn't it? What? It's windy. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a good breeze. <laughs> Secret Chargal. It's like no one knows about this place. There's no one around, no tourists. Just us and our bikes. Oh no! Hey. Your bike fell down. Yeah. Did you even hear that? Yeah. Stories. Smashed on the floor. Okay, we're leaving now, heading towards the other part of this coastline. Whoever owns this property here is very lucky. What a view. It's a very interesting area. No one around at all. Whoa, brakes on story, brakes on. Hard brakes. <laughs> it's really steep down here. You can't see on the camera. But what a view at the end. There's a few other people down this end. Incredible scenery once again. This is the other side of that person's property. There's some Kubos here on the beach that you can probably rent for a picnic. And this reminds me of the very end of the beach where we do our walks from our house in the morning with our dog Poppy. I think they finally spotted the Tikasau Lighthouse, which is a feature down here, but I didn't know where it was before. hearing a bit of thunder and it's been windy all day so we are going to start heading back it's probably going to take us another half an hour to ride back home what a nice day out sometimes we question whether it was the right decision to stay here and make a life but to be honest with you when i see story enjoying the outdoors like this and getting to spend so much time together since the age of three to the age of eight when i guess most people would be sending their kids off to nursery or preschool or all the places that you are used to we've got to spend all of these moments together just enjoying being a family 
which is incredible and an amazing privilege as well. I'm very aware of that. Let's go home. Hey Poppy, <laughs> we're home. Ready for your walk. Poppy out before I have my shower. But 20 kilometers we done today on the bike. 20 kilometers! <laughs> you're sweaty. <laughs> and you're gonna cook us dinner tonight, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Is it gonna be a noodly dish? It's going to be a very noodly dish. Cycling to San Isidro done. Stories shopping list is done. What else? Money lesson, order drinks, so we did that. Mm -hmm. And now we're on to... Prepare dinner. Prepare dinners. I'm busting out the Marty's crackling, spicy vinegar, vegetarian chicharrons. Can you handle the spice? <laughs> yeah. Too spicy for you, or can you handle it? I didn't realise that was spicy, actually. Oh, spicy vinegar flavour. Can't you taste the tingle? Kind of. They're nice, actually. Mm. Can you handle these? Spicy chicharrons. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. She wolfed that down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's done with the spice. Taste and adjust your peanut sauce. Okay. There should be the balance of salty, sour, sweet, and fat. So dip your finger in, have a little taste, see if you like it. Actually, that's quite good. It's very good. Alright, what's next then? is made. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> well you, done, look at that. Can you tell us about it, what's in there? So, there's bread crumbed tofu, sweet chilli sauce, lemon wedges for you to sprinkle on yourself, noodles, which is all the way under there, peanuts, basil, and homemade peanut butter sauce. Well done, Story. Which, makes, which makes the noodles very, very brown. Very, very impressive. Thanks. Let's eat. Well, I'm very much looking forward to this dinner and while we're waiting, I'm going to do a quick shout out to our newest member who is Patrick Henry. Huge thank you. I see that you've joined the weekend vlog tier, so you'll be seeing our exclusive weekend vlogs on Sunday. And I am about to dive into this beautiful dinner prepared by my daughter. Very impressed story. <laughs> it's not easy to do what you did today. Even the bike riding was hard. And now you've managed to cook a whole meal for us too. Yes. Fantastic. I have officially become a mum. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give us a taste test. Test. Look at those noodles. <laughs> very cool. Is it very good? Mm -hmm. Wow. Very crunchy. There's a lot of food here as well. Are you impressed? I'm very impressed. Me super, too. super impressed. I was in the kitchen the whole time, just in case any help was needed, but not really. I didn't do much, did I? Apart from strain. I strained the noodles. <laughs> noodles, you, yeah. because it was very boiling. And I Helped got me the tofu, put the out, tofu the out and into the oven. Mm. That's it, you've done the rest. I even, put on, I even put on the stove fire. Did, didn't you? <laughs> Which I always do. Don't be surprised, I always do that. So that is it from us. Hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye. And bon appetit! Bon appetit! Again! Bye.